Hi everybody, this is another TFR Drones review video and this is going to be a follow-up video of my Gulab Buys N1 OSD for the NASA Light V1 and V2. Okay, before I start describing uh, all the information that you see of this OSD, I want to explain why I got the aircraft mounted on top of the dash of the truck. Uh, the reason is number one, I didn't build this aircraft to be uh, flown at nighttime, and number two, um, it's really cold outside. And when it's too cold, I don't like to fly um, because the you know spring cold weather really messed up the lipo batteries, and I don't want to damage my batteries. Okay, so let's start talking about you know the OSD itself. Um, this OSD comes with three, three different kinds of uh, displays, uh, layouts that you can use, um, whatever, whatever you like. Um, the first one would be the default layout that looks like a fighting jet layout. Uh, the second one is pretty much identical to the layout that you will find on the iOSD Mini. And the third layout is the one that you see right now on the screen is um, like a hybrid layout because you use some of the best features of the iOSD layout and also use the features of the fighting jet layout okay so now let's start describing you know all the features on of this OSD that is uh, shown right on the screen starting with a little radar on the top left uh, that's the indicator that tells you how many satellites the GPS antenna of the NASA is acquiring okay now the reason it's fluctuating so much is because of course the aircraft is inside my truck and since it's not on the open it's not acquiring acquiring a full range of satellites that will be the norm if the aircraft was flying you know out there uh, next to it to the right that's the compass so it indicates you know a bearing you know if you're going north south east and west uh, next to it, in the center on the top, that's the coordinates, and it tells you the latitude and longitude. It does alternate, you know, back and forward constantly. Uh, most OSDs that they give you latitude and longitude, they put, you know, like um, the latitude and the longitude at the same time in two sides of the screen. But these people, to save space, they decide to put everything together and just make it alternate back and forward. Um, it's supposed to show eight digits, but I blur four. I blur four of the eight digits so for privacy reasons. Uh, underneath the coordinates, that's the um, go to home indicator. And as long as you have on zero on single digits, that pretty much tells you that you're going home. Your home is a little bit towards the left, a little bit towards the right. You're going to see the arrow next to the number. Uh, all the way to the right on the top, that's the timer. And the way the timer works is that um, the moment you plug in the battery, the timer is going to start counting. Now, if you want to reset the timer, so that way it will start counting pretty much before you start flying, you can click the reset button on the OSD and erase everything to zero. Okay, below the timer, uh, when you see the letter H, that's the height indicator or the altitude indicator it works on in meters it's metric and um, it tells you you know how high the aircraft flies it, it, it is flying and it works in combination with the OSD and a barometer that comes with the OSD to give you a more accurate uh, description of the altitude below that um, that's the indicator that tells you you know how how, how fast you are climbing or uh, decreasing the altitude in meters per second. Below that, on the right low corner, that would be the voltage uh, sensor. And this egg, this OSD comes with a, a voltage sensor that allows you to connect a mini DSD connector that will be soldered to the power distribution board to give you an accurate, you know. Uh, description of the voltage of the battery but at the same time 
uh, if you don't want to use that you can just get the voltage through the um, uh, video transmitter but it's not going to be uh, accurate now the video transmitter is the one that's actually powering the OSD so if you so if you connect uh, mini JST into the voltage sensor of the OSD all it's gonna do is just tells you the voltage not gonna power the OSD it would be better that way because like I say it's gonna give you a more accurate description of the voltage of the battery better than getting that through the power um, to the um, video transmitter okay uh, all the way to the left on the bottom that's a speedometer in seen kilometers per hour as you can see it's in the 20 something kilometers uh, on top of that that's the trip meter and that tells you the total amount of um, meters that you done during the flight. On top of that is the indicator that tells you the distance uh, from home, you know, how far you are from home in meters. So when you do, let's say, 1,000 meters, that's one kilometer right there. So I'm just 12 meters uh, from home. Okay, um, so this video, I uh, decided to make it in that way people can see how this OSC works. And even some of the information is in Chinese, but I couldn't find how to translate, you know, change it into English, you know, at least it's easy to understand what is what. I'm going to try to make a follow-up video that's going to, I'm going to try to translate everything in English and that way people can understand what's going on with the different layouts on the menu. And it's going to be coming soon, so please stay tuned. So, uh, Thanks for watching and please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, favorite this video and share this video with others, okay? So thanks for watching. Bye.